The Isaiah Festival is one of the biggest events of the year for Valdosta, and it's fast approaching. We have Aaron Strickland here to tell us more about the event. Welcome to the show, Aaron. Thanks, Marcus. What's, what we got going on is the 19th annual Azalea Festival. Mm -hmm. And this has been going on for 19 years. It's a very large deal. It's a two-day arts and crafts festival. It's mm -hmm. gonna be going on March 9th and 10th. We have over, we're gonna have over 200 arts and crafts vendors, okay. a couple of great bands, uh, six different stage areas of entertainment, and just something great for the whole family. Admission is free, mm -hmm. and there, I mean, it kills me, you know, whenever I hear people say, oh, there's nothing to do in Valdosta or Lowndes County. I'm like, well, you're not looking very hard. You're living under a rock. There's not always gonna something going on. <laughs> not everything going on may, may, everything going on may not be as big as the Isaiah Fest, but there is always something going on in our community. Mm -hmm. You don't have to look very hard for it. And uh, we've got a lot of, Valdosta and Lowndes County have a lot of great things to offer. Okay. So how long have you been a part of the Isaiah Festival? This is going to be my eighth festival serving mm -hmm. as executive director. Mm -hmm. uh, prior to me was a uh, gentleman by the name of Grant Brown. He was the director for six years, and prior to him was the founder of the festival, Joanne Greiner, who okay. uh, recently passed away a couple years ago. She was the uh, founder and director for the first five years. Okay. Okay. What, what makes the Isaiah Festival such a special, important event for Valdosta and Lowndes County? Uh, well, it's the largest event, well, I like to think, within about a three hour radius. Mm -hmm. um, that's been my goal, has been to grow it and to really max out the location of it, which is held in Drexel Park, that's at 1401 uh, Patterson. It's the uh, park directly mm -hmm. across from uh, VSU's main campus. Mm -hmm. And it just really helps to showcase the best of what South Georgia has to offer okay. through you know, food, fun, crafts, music and more mm -hmm. and we're proud to be able to do it and wouldn't be able to do it without our sponsors and we got a whole list of those. I want to mention a couple of those if I could. The City of Valdosta, of course, of course, uh, Kenneth S. Nugent, PC, Fairway Outdoor 92.9 Country, Talk 921, The Lane Dole Company, Valdosta Daily Times, WALB, Advanced Disposal, Valdosta Family Medicine Associates. Literally, literally I have multiple pages yeah, of sponsors exactly. here. Those are just some of them. Please visit our website, azaleafestival.com. We have a complete listing on there and links to all these great sponsors. And some of those sponsors are actually sponsoring some of the uh, stages and attractions that we have going on. Uh, over in Kids Zone, we're gonna have our disconnected canines. That's the Frisbee catching. Oh yeah, uh, those canine. are always fun each year. It's awesome, it's a crowd favorite. That's sponsored by the uh, Kenneth S. Nugent Law Firm. Uh, the Paul Bunyan Lumberjack Show is going to be back this mm -hmm. year down on the Williams Street end of the park. That's sponsored by the Langdale Company. We're going to have a stage, our Stage 3, that's uh, sponsored by Wild Adventures. And just so much great stuff going on. Um, speaking of Wild Adventures, not only are they sponsoring one of our stages and providing the entertainment for it, they, this is also going to be the opening weekend of Wild Adventures. Gotcha. So this is kind of a unique opportunity for folks that within the viewing area, if you don't come to Valdosta and Lowndes County often, this is an excuse for you to do so and actually make Valdosta and Lowndes County your destination for the weekend. It's going to be the opening weekend for Wild Adventures, the 19th annual Zaya Festival. Come stay the weekend. The you can uh, visit the uh, Azalea Festival one day. You can visit Wild Adventures one day stay in our hotels, eat at our restaurants, and it's just a, uh, just a very unique opportunity. There aren't a whole lot of reasons for folks to make Valdosta and Lowndes County uh, like a destination yes. point, but yeah. this is one of those opportunities, yeah. and we're glad to be able to do it. Yeah. And the event is on March 9th and 10th, 9th um, and 10th. Saturday and Sunday. If I want to be a vendor, how do I become a vendor? You very quickly, I say quickly because we only have, as of right now, about a dozen uh, vendor spaces left. You can visit our website, azaleafestival.com, or call 229-269-9381, or email info at azaleafestival.com, and speak to our vendor chair lady. She will hook you up. And again, we're going to have over uh, 200, arts and crafts fest, uh, 200 arts and crafts vendors, uh, six different stage areas of entertainment, food court, huge kids zone, on the uh, Sunday of the event, we have a classic car and bike show going on that's being uh, that sponsored cool. by the dedicated motorcycle company. And just so much going on. It would not be possible without the community support and the uh, support of our sponsors. And so we cannot thank them enough. And we're just um, glad to have been able to, for 19 years, take something that 
really started off as a, a small community festival. And I mean small, I mean there may have been a, one stage and a dozen vendors in that yeah. for those first couple of years. And now it has grown to what it is. It's grown from a small community festival to a major regional festival. Yep. And there's no other event that over a, a, a complete weekend attracts you know upwards of 25 to 30,000 visitors. Mm -hmm. And again, thanks to everyone that helps us out, put this on year after year, and we're proud to be able to continue to do it. Well, we thank you, Aaron, for coming on the show um, and letting us know about this year's Azalea Festival. Yes, we, sir. We invite everyone out to the 2019 Azalea Festival, once again, March 9th and 10th, and we'll be back here on City Focus.